All right, I want to do a video on, um, first off, let's see what our temperature of water is. Our water is 61 degrees. And this is my ISO slash alcohol stove that I made a while back. I want to do a video on this. Is that away for a second? This is my uh, homemade ISO slash alcohol stove. Washer on the base, nickel on the bottom, buffalo nickel at that. Um, flagpole aluminum with a uh, wedding tin top. And inside of it I put the standard carbon felt. And I made a little pot stand that fits inside of this. And so then I, now I was going to do some cool stuff with the little holes in here and have it shoot out flame, but it was just too tight. So I want to test... Well, let me light it first. I want to test two things. First I want to test it with standard uh, methanol alcohol. So I'm going to fill it with methanol alcohol here to see how long it takes to burn. There we go. That's lit. I'm sorry, that's full. And now it's lit. And just get that centered up in there. Uh, start my timer. Temperature. Where is the timer? Oh, here. Start. No. Nope. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. So it's going. And I'll put that on top of there. And I'm not going to do a lid for this because my lid is plastic for this. I need to come up with a better metal lid for it. So I'm afraid my plastic lid will actually melt. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it like this. Turn some lights off so you guys can see the flame on that. There we go. It does a really nice flame. I'll lower it down so you can see the flame underneath there better. And you can see that's a pretty nice flame. Um, I do get a little orange around it because of the metal wire frame there, I think. Uh, this is actually a steel, not aluminum, uh, wedding tin, as most wedding tins are. They're more of a tent. Uh, they're tin. They're like a steel versus aluminum. So, let's get our timer going. We'll need to get temperature on that to know when it's at 212. And without light on, I can't really see that from here, but I'll bring it over. Let's see if that can get in the camera then. Probably. Sure, that's in there. Alright, so we're going to do a test with just. Uh, methanol alcohol, and what we're comparing here is I want to see the difference in boil time between methanol alcohol and iso rubbing alcohol. Um, I've seen some videos online that say that the rubbing alcohol is hotter than the methanol alcohol when it's burning, and I want to make sure on my own stove if that's true or not. So I've got the stove going here. It's burning pretty well. We may have to refuel it a little bit throughout the process because it is a very small chamber for alcohol. So we may have to refuel it. And the reason I'm doing the um, rubbing alcohol before I do the ISO rubbing alcohol, um, the ISO rubbing alcohol actually leaves water behind. And that is not an easy thing to get out of your carbon felt once it's in there. And I thought that might affect the methanol alcohol. So I had to make sure this was perfectly dry before I started, and then using the methanol alcohol. Now you can switch back and forth out in the field when you're hiking or something like that. You can switch completely back and forth from one to the other, and it doesn't affect it. What happens is if you use methanol alcohol after you rub it, use rubbing alcohol, the moisture in there remains in there. It doesn't stop it from burning. It doesn't stop it from burning when it's in the rubbing alcohol. And it doesn't stop it from burning when it's in the methanol alcohol. So it does leave, it does cause the uh, orange flames to be a little more uh, on the higher side. But I don't mind the orange flames. I kind of like the orange flames. It lets me see the um, flame during the daylight a little better. Which is one reason the iso alcohol, I'm sorry, the iso profile rubbing alcohol is kind of nice during the daylight. It does put off a little more orange flames. 211. Two twelve at eleven oh five. 
All right, so that's our time with methanol alcohol. 11.05 to hit a boil. And the boil, the rolling boil has actually started all over the place now, so it's, it's a pretty good pot for that. Uh, I'll give you an upside view of what it looks like in there. This is two cups of water, and I can get it boiling in that pot without any troubles. It is pretty close to the top, but it doesn't tend to boil over. So, 11.05. Let's try it with the rubbing alcohol, iso rubbing alcohol, and see what we get. I will have to cool everything down, set it up, and get right back with you guys. Alright, just to keep this a fair test, I have to go ahead and burn all the alcohol out of the stove because I don't want there to be any methanol alcohol left in the stove when I start pumping through the ISO. I don't know how the mixture will do. I mean, it burns fine because I'm going back and forth in different events, but to get a true test, I want to burn it completely out. Uh, plus, I'm letting my pot cool down. Uh, I'll need to let the stove cool down afterwards as well. So, give me a few minutes and I'll be back. Okay, we've cooled down completely here, and we're sitting at 60 degrees. Uh, 61. That's good. I think we started last one at 61. We've switched over to ISO rubbing alcohol. Going to fill it up. I completely burned off all the old alcohol that I had in there, the methanol alcohol, and get this up, fill it up all the way. Now. I've heard it's going to be harder to light, but no problem for me. I don't know. So we let that get to temperature just for a second there. Uh, I turn off my extra light so I can see what's going on. And you'll see with this flame, it does have a lot of orange to it, and that's where the smoke comes from. Soot, I'm sorry. But if you keep your gap between the pot and the stove just right, tends to have low soot. Oh, look at that. The pot may have been too cold for this. Uh, then the one thing about ISO is it, it has to be hot enough to stay lit. So you have to let it burn for a second before you put your pot on. Oh, timer. Unfair start. Okay, so we'll add about three seconds or four seconds to that, whatever. Um... And it does seem to be staying lit now, so I guess we gave it enough time. Having a metal tin helps that versus having an aluminum container. The metal tin gets hot and stays hot, whereas the aluminum is always dissipating the heat a little better. Don't know why. Just know that's the case. So let's lower it down a little bit and see if we can get a better picture of the flame. Maybe even zoom in a little bit for you guys. Two ten. And two eleven. We're gonna run out of alcohol right at the end here. Just a little bit there to get it up to that last point. I'm refueling this quite frequently, more so than I refueled the methanol. I think as this burns down, it has more water. It ten tends to be less hot. 211. We can get it up to 212, that is. Taking a lot longer than I anticipated. Um, hotter? I don't think so. Uh, the methanol alcohol burned a lot faster than this. Uh, 
we were at 11.05 and there's 17.05. Just sitting at 2.11, waiting for it to turn over. It just went, and there's still alcohol in there. It's not that there's not alcohol in there. I can still see the uh, alcohol on the uh, carbon felt. Just the way this one's. There it is, 212. Finally got 212 at 1740. And back down to 211. See, it's just. It's not really a rolling jump into 212, but it's flickering back and forth. So we haven't even hit our rolling boil, so to speak, as we did with our methanol. Um, we'll call it 1740, that's when it hit it. And I'm going to say that the methanol alcohol is a much better source of heat than this is, because you can see, even though we are sitting at 212, we're just not getting that rolling boil here that we did with methanol. So it's topping out. It's trying to come through, but it's just not doing it. And I kept it fueled as much as I could. Whenever it started to come down a little bit, I filled it back up a little more. But it's just not the same. Now, that being said, there are different types of methanol. Um, there are different types of rubbing alcohol. And this type I have here is the 70... 70%... Uh, it's kind of small, but 70% rubbing alcohol. There's... Uh, 90% and there's 50% and I don't know what the difference is going one direction or the other but this test proved to me that the rubbing alcohol is not as powerful as the methanol alcohol. The methanol alcohol outdid the rubbing alcohol by uh, six, six and a half minutes on an open pot like this with two cups of water starting at 61 degrees. So, and I had trouble even keeping the rubbing alcohol to stay lit. It was just any kind of airflow or me moving across the room would cause it to flicker all across the stove. So, maybe I don't have a stove set up properly for ISO, but any lower, and I've tried it at many different heights on this, any lower, and I was actually not getting the flame to stay on, any higher, and I was getting soot on the bottom of the pot, so this was my sweet spot for the ISO. But I've tried to make one like uh, John at Flat Cat, and it didn't work for me either. I'm guessing it was because this is aluminum, not steel. But nonetheless, I like what I have here because it can be used both ways, and it comes with the lid. So it's nice for me. Oops. I will show it to you one more time. And I really want to get a look at the bottom of this pot and see if it did soot at all, but at this point I don't really want to touch it. So, what I have here is the wetting tin that closes down inside here. And I don't put this back on right away because if I do, the heat would, uh... Okay, I guess my camera thought I was out of film when it's digital and or out of room, but... So it shut off on me. Anyways, so I wanted to show you this. It's pretty much cooled down already. Uh, that was a few seconds ago. It didn't last long. This all just is this is two two squares on a quarter inch, and then this fits in here, and this then just closes down and seals up. And that's my take along for my camping trip. Just to give you an idea what we're looking at here. It works well. For me, anyway, for my ISO. And this is still too hot to look at the bottom of it, so I'll need to, first off, buy something to grab it with, maybe, and pour some of that out. But let me just get a look. Yeah, there's no soot on the bottom of it. It didn't soot at all, so that's good. There's the lid I was talking about. It's not a perfect lid, but you put a lid on there and you, kn you knock that time down drastically. So we may do a video like that, but for now, that's all for this one. Catch you guys later.